Hey Flight Simmers, welcome back to another helpful video. This time around, I'm going to show you guys a little mod for the community folder uh, that'll help you out. Probably get from uh, 10 FPS or more, uh, especially if you guys have a CPU bottleneck or in some way you're limited by your CPU. This will definitely help you. Uh, this is going to help you uh, mainly get FPS in the airliners or, or aircraft with the glass cockpit. So what this uh, mod does basically is reduce or lower the refresh rate of the displays of the glass cockpits and in doing so it uh, helps uh, boost the FPS quite a bit. So I'm going to provide this link down in the description down below or in the comment and I'll pin that comment. Uh, you might need an account for Nexus Mods to download it but you're going to click on download and uh, just click the slow download it's a small file. Once you have that downloaded it should be in your downloads folder. You're going to want to unzip that folder then you'll have the FPS fix folder. You want to copy this. And then you're going to want to go to your root uh, FS2020 installation path. In my case, I purchased the uh, SIM through the Microsoft Store and I installed through the default path. So you're going to want to go to this path and, and go all the way to your community folder. You're going to want to paste it here. I already have it. It's right about here, FPS fix. Once you have that done, you're going to want to launch the sim okay so once you guys have the sim launched and you are in the menu go to the world map and in this case we're going to select the airbus a320 neo we have that selected and now you'll see in the left section here there's an fps options i'm going to go ahead and click i like it uh medium that seems to be the best for me so the lower you go on the refresh rates, the more choppy the displays on the aircraft, uh, the glass cockpits with the refresh rates will be lower. So it makes it a little more choppy. So you're going to want to just do through trial and error, see what the, what the sweet spot is for you, what's smooth enough and gives you uh, the best FPS. So just try that out. This should be available also for the, let's go for the 787, for example. The 787 we'll go to fps options and it's set on medium as well uh for the turbo props for the caravan you'll have the fps options as well this uh as i mentioned before is for glass cockpits only this mod has been around for almost two weeks now i haven't covered it in a video yet but just recently yesterday it was updated and added this option uh for fps options in the aircraft selection menu and this just makes it a lot easier because you can just click the refresh rate that you want instead of having to install a folder refresh rate folders in the community and testing it was a lot more tedious so this is a lot more simple that's why i'm covering it over in this video as always let me know down in the comments down below how much it helped you if it helped you a lot or not how much fps you you gained and uh, once again you'll see in the, this video some gameplay I have about 40 to 47 FPS in the in the cockpit and outside view with the A320 Neo. It varies a little bit. I, I am filming with uh, or recording with OBS, and that takes about two or three to five FPS away from the from the gameplay. Anyways, you'll have uh, you'll see one uh, with the FPS capped at 30. That is the smoothest for me. So if you want to give that a try, cap your or limit your FPS to 30, uh, you can do that through the Riva tuner or you can do that through the NVIDIA control panel or even your refresh rate uh, of your monitor. You can put that to 30 hertz and uh, turn VSync on and it should be pretty smooth. The input lag will be a little bit higher, but it's not it's not too bad. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if uh, you find my videos helpful and like uh, my content in general. Happy flying, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.